Now to Lucy, a first-of-a-kind upgrade for power wheelchairs. It was dreamed up by a man whose daughter has spent most of her life in a wheelchair. A chair that costs nearly $80,000, weighs 300 pounds, and could be tipped by a two-inch obstacle. That from an interview he gave to USA Today. So we went looking for a solution, and now it's being rolled out nationwide. NBC's Chris Pallone. Chris Pallone has the story. While this is a technology story, it's really a story about a dad who, like so many others, would do absolutely anything for his little girl. On a the dad is Nashville songwriter Barry Dean. The little girl is his daughter Catherine. She's 20 now, but she was born four months early and weighed less than two pounds. Are you ready to drive? And because of cerebral palsy, she's spent most of her life in a power wheelchair, which Barry quickly discovered could be dangerous. When she first got her power chair as a little girl um, at the clinic, they put her in the seat and they hadn't calibrated the speed. And it took off down the hall and went into a wall. It turns out hospitals treat thousands of power chair injuries every year. Barry wanted to make Catherine's chair safer. We didn't intend to start a company. We intended to solve a problem. Enlisting the help of his brother Jared, an engineer in Colorado, they've worked over the past four years developing a computer system with radar, cameras and sensors, which can prevent collisions, stop a chair from plunging off a porch or step, and even send out automatic notifications if something does go wrong. So we actually, as part of our system, read the user's reaction time and the vehicle drives different, the wheelchair drives different, based on the user's ability to react to the world. They installed the system on Catherine's chair and named it Lucy, a nod to one of her favorite Beatles songs. There was this realization that, that this could really help a lot of people, and it wasn't just about our family. We all decided, we're going to make this happen. They installed Lucy on people's wheelchairs in a handful of states, made observations, adjustments, and changes. Now, it's no longer an experiment. Lucy is available nationwide and is winning attention and acclaim from magazines like Popular Science and Time. I'm not willing to spend my children's lifetime waiting for companies to decide to do something that should have been done quite a long time ago. A dad who just wanted to keep his daughter safe might end up improving the lives of millions of power wheelchair users around the world. It's a story fit for a song. For the news, I'm Chris Pallone. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.